Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to talk to you about Merge with GR Pro in Photoshop CC. And as you can see I've got a nice image and I'm working 32-bit and now we have in Photoshop CC this right here, complete turning in Adobe Camera Raw. And right here turning ACR which is really really cool. So what means is that now Photoshop will take it to to the Merge DR Pro into Photoshop, create a smart object and then open Camera Raw. Well, for some may not be a big deal, but if you shoot a lot of HDR, and especially if you want realistic ones, uh, it's a massive difference because instead of you going to at this moment, point now that you can see on the screen I would go to file save as TIFF then open the TIFF in camera Raw or Lightroom and then take it back to Photoshop and if you have a few images to do you get you might get bored well I wouldn't but hey it speeds up your workflow which is the main thing and it's just amazing this one here this new feature so as you can see we are in camera Raw so I'm just going to add some contrast, bring down the highlights, bring down the whites, open up the shadows just a tad, add some clarity, and I'm good to go. Actually, let's add some sharpening and just bring something like this. Okay. Uh, obviously, I would spend a bit more time on the image, but for the purpose of the tutorial, uh, look it's fine as it is and it's not it's not bad well uh, so now I've got this image and everything you've seen so far probably you saw hundreds of tutorials and I've got one showing my favorite features uh, about AGR Pro I, but I want to show you something different that you haven't seen out there which is you've got this image and now you want to save it as a JPEG just to post it on Facebook for instance. You have your Facebook page and you want to post it there. So you want to save it as a JPEG. Well, sounds easy enough, doesn't it? If you go to File, Save As, Save As Type, and there's no JPEG. So now what? Now you can save it as it is, as a TIFF. Then TIFF will open in Camera Raw and then take it to Photoshop or you can save it from Cam Raw, but this way it doesn't work really well for me. So what can you do? Well, very simple. So I've got this right here, and this is a 32-bit channel, 32-bit image per channel. So if I'll change to 16-bit, I'll click OK, and I'm not going to merge because I want to maintain my smart filters. So, and now. Photoshop is converting to from 32 to 16-bit. So let's think about 32 as a Blu-ray and 16-bit as a DVD. And as you can see now, it's changed. So now this is the DVD quality. And before, I'm going to undo, was the Blu-ray quality. Well. I went through camera roll and I got all this as I wanted. I won't show this in Facebook, not this. So what can we do? Well, there's a very cool way. It's rendering some smart filters because I've done Control Z just to undo. Um, so here we are in 16 bit. Actually, I need to that to do that in 32 bit. So there you go. So what we can do is very simple. We can get select, select all, edit, and copy. Now we can deselect Control D or Command D on a Mac. And we go into Image Adjustments. Oops, sorry, Mode, 16 bit per channel, and it will tell you that you get the window saying that uh, it's a smart object. Blah 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 but you can tick the don't show again but for educational purposes I still leave it on 
and now it's rendering smart filters just to accumulate all that info information together and uh, this may take a while depending on your machine and look at this as you may remember before the flat image well if you control V or command V on the Mac you get everything you've done in 32 bit in 16 bit right here so you didn't lose all your work still looks the same and now you can go into file save as and you've got JPEG right here so now you can post it on social networks how cool is that very cool I hope I hope you enjoyed and I helped you with this tutorial thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now